And former President Olusegun Obasanjo has decried Nigeria's inability to live up to expectations since it got independence 63 years ago. Chief Obasanjo stressed that the country had not only disappointed itself, but also Africa and the world. He spoke in his keynote address at a public presentation of a book titled Reclaiming the Jewel of Africa, written by former Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, and Minister of Finance, Olusegun Aganga. Chief Obasanjo maintained that the beginning of charting a new course for the country is to admit the failure of not putting round pegs in the round the hole. The chairman of the Independent National Electoral to drop Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, and self, National Commissioners of the Commission, and self-centeredness, ethnic and religious jingoism, plus gross misunderstanding of what development entails and how to move fast. On October 7, 1960, Nigeria was referred to as giant in the sun. As at that time, the expectation of Africa and the rest of the world was for Nigeria to be a giant in the world. But over the past 63 years, we have not lived up to expectation. We have disappointed ourselves. We have disappointed Africa. We have disappointed the black race. And we have disappointed the world. I'll say that the book series resource on development and the pathway to progress, focusing on the solutions Nigeria needs in order to unleash its greatness for the good of our people. However, the representatives to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Mr. Wali Edwin, who spoke alongside the author Olushegu Aganga, both expressed hope that it's never too late for Nigeria to reach its potential and concerted efforts. Hello, hope you enjoyed Adana the news. State government Please says it is do ready to, to continue YouTube providing channel. more opportunities to for young people to so learn, share experiences and work towards updates. achieving common vision.